In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our config tool to update firmware on your IP cameras or NVR. Once you've installed the config tool in your Windows operating system, you should have a link like this, um, a shortcut on your desktop. Double click it. If it asks you permission to run the program, Windows 10 may ask you that. Allow it to run, please. Once you're in the program, this config tool, we have other videos that show you the how to use this to change IP addresses. You can find them on our um, blog. Now this video is about doing updates to firmware so you want to click on this upgrade icon here. Now one of the most important things that you need to do actually before you do any application of firmware is go under search setting and click on admin where it says for the username specify the username that's on all of your cameras if you intend to do a batch upgrade or on that one particular camera you want to do a singular upgrade on and then the password in my case all my cameras have the password as set to lowercase admin and then press OK and then you can go about doing your firmware uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to update firmware on only one camera at a time which involves just clicking the browse button go into the file and then adding the file now I've already downloaded um, firmware for this particular camera that I want to upgrade and I have it here and I'm going to first extract the file after downloading it from Google Drive and Windows should allow you to unzip the file uh, it's built into the Windows operating system unless you have something like WinZip that's asking you to pay to unzip because you made the mistake of installing it once now I know the uh, directory where my firmware is located I'm gonna copy the directory name with the control C and go back here and I'm going to simply, uh, you don't need to press any check marks, anything like that, just hit browse. And paste the directory name, select the file, and hit the word upgrade. It takes a few seconds or up to a minute to do an upgrade. And uh, while it's doing that, you'll see that its uh, progress bar will show you the percentage as it's updating. So it'll kind of inch over to a 100 and then you'll see this check mark here now while it's doing that uh, you if you are doing a continuous ping test on the camera like I'm doing here you will see that the camera will actually s time out after the camera receives the firmware it will reboot after it processes it and after a few seconds it'll reboot and come back online and you should start seeing a ping that says reply from and then the IP address and then bytes and a time after that. Here I see now that it shows me that my camera is coming back online. It has a reply time of less than one millisecond which is perfectly normal. So um, now if I were to go back and refresh It'll show what devices are on my network. I actually applied it to the same exact firmware as what's on there, so the, the, the version did not change. It's just for an example purpose. Now I'm going to show you how to upgrade two cameras at the same time. I have another file here with a more recent date than the last one that I used. I'm going to extract it. I'm going to delete the older file to make sure I don't mistakenly apply that. Now I know again where is my directory for uh, these files. I'm going to show you how to do a batch upgrade. So what you do is you check mark the cameras that you want to do a batch upgrade on. Now I know for a fact that this upgrade file will work with these two cameras so you have to be very careful when you're applying firmware to any of our cameras or a DVRs. Now instead of using the browse button here, I'm going to click on batch upgrade, browse, and of course it's pulled up the same directory I was in before where my files are located. And I'm going to select this 2016-12-19 firmware and hit open. Once there, click OK. And watch that it's updating firmware on two cameras simultaneously. You can do this process to apply firmware to cameras of the same model and uh, patch them without having to go into every single camera. Now, one of the most important things is in order for you to upgrade either with a singular method or 
with the multiple camera method. It's very important that you define your username and password for your cameras. I'll show that in just a minute. So now you see my camera is still pinging, and that's because it's still receiving the update file. Now this update file took longer because it's a larger file, more recent file. So the check mark means on the 201 that it applied. And if you for some reason see a orange triangle here, um, you want to make sure you figure out by clicking on that orange triangle to determine what was the reason or the error code. It may say upgrade failed or it may say um, unable, you know, incorrect username or password. So now my last camera, which actually has the older firmware, says checked as well. It's receiving a firmware data if with a file version of 2.60. So this one that says 2.40 becomes the same as the top one, 2.60. So 109 now shows that it's rebooting. And here it shows it's rebooting again. So when I press a refresh, it'll actually refresh with a new firmware. Well, here it's refreshing now, and you see the firmware on these two cameras is now the same.